There are so many cool things in the world of self-publishing, and one of those things is doing the research to find the books. For example, Fun First Mazes for Kids 4 to 8, a maze activity book for kids, and then simply being able to take a look inside and see the different concepts, the different activities that they've come up with inside of this book. For example, this maze right here. And then after finding a book like this and seeing how well it sells, as you can see there, it has four and a half stars with 641 ratings. So this is a real book that people enjoy. But how is this book created? Of course, if you're an artist, you could do this. But what kind of tool do we have? And that's what this video is about. Because in, inside of Affinity Designer, they have this concept called brushes. And as you can see right here, I have a brush and I can simply come over and select the brush tool. And then I can use the brush tool to make this path, which is the maze that you see over in this maze book. So back to Affinity Designer and how to create this brush. There's a series of brushes under here that come with Affinity Designer. You can see here, this is what they look like. And there's a whole list of them here. This brushes is a category, if I come back down to this drop down menu, where you can create a new category. And you can see it instantly created that category three or brushes three. And then what you can do is you can rename that category. And this is brushes for publisher report. And I'd say, okay. And it changes that brushes for publisher report. And then what you're gonna do is come down here and create a new textured image brush. But you need to create an image to create the brush from. And because I'm no artist, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Creative Fabrica and I'm gonna look for some animals. And you can see here, Animals Coloring Page for Kids, Volume 5. And if you scroll down, you can see that this comes with five pages and it comes in a PDF and editable AI format or file format. So I'm simply just gonna click Download. That's gonna download the zip file and then I'm gonna open that file up and you're gonna see the different types of file formats. And it doesn't really matter about these file formats as long as you have the PNG or the EPS or the AI file that you can import into Creative Fabrica to edit them. We're gonna be using this EPS format in this case. Back to Creative Fabrica, file open. Here you can see the .eps format. If I open that up inside of Affinity Designer, there'll be a notification here about an assigned profile. Just click close. We wanna get down to editing this file. So what you're gonna do here is you're simply just gonna delete the elements that you don't want or you don't need or group the elements together and get them out of the way. So you can do a little work here. We'll group the seaweed here and we'll move him up. We'll group these little bubbles, not seaweed, but bubbles, and we'll move him up out of the way. What I wanna do is I wanna get this turtle grouped together. So I'm going to move that out of the way and I want to get all the elements of the turtle grouped together. So to do that, let's move this border or actually let's just delete this border for now. And what we'll do is we will grab everything on the turtle and we will group the turtle together. And then we're going to make the turtle smaller because the thing we're going to do is we're going to have this turtle get down to the seaweed down here. So actually we're gonna move this over here with this other seaweed. This is the seaweed right here that we're gonna move down into the corner. And we're gonna have this turtle get down to the seaweed. Now, the way to create the brush, of course our brushes for publisher report are empty. So we need to create a new brush, a new textured image brush. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this turtle and we're going to ungroup him real quick. And we're going to select one of the lines of the turtle because as you can see each one of these is an individual line so what we're going to do is we're going to select this line and we're going to copy and paste and we're going to drag that line down here and what we're going to do is we're going to make that line bigger actually we don't want that line because it has a curve in it so what we'll do is we'll grab this line and we will copy and we will paste and then we'll drag this line down and we'll flatten this line out like so. So then the line is flat. And then the line's flat there. So what we'll do is we'll control C, control V, or command C, command V. And what we wanna do at this point is come up to view and we want to go show grid. Because what I wanna do is I wanna snap this to the grid right here. And then what I want to do is I want to fill 
this space between these two lines with a rectangle. And then once you have the rectangle there, what you want to do is you want to go over and change the color of the rectangle. And we're going to change the rectangle color to white. And then we have the lines and we have the white background. We're going to select that and we're going to file, export, export the selection only as a PNG, export. It's going to ask us what we want to name that. We'll just go ahead and call this animal coloring brush one. We'll save that under our file. We'll save that in our folder affinity brushes that I created. And now what we want to do is we're going to go back to brushes. And here I've created brushes for publisher report. What happens is affinity publisher has brushes built in acrylics, dry media, engraving. What you want to do is you want to come up here and you want to say, create new category. And then you can see it created the category brushes three. Then what you can do is you can rename that category and you can call it whatever you want. And then that'll be where you can save the brush. In this case, in this example, we're going to save it under what I called brushes for publisher report. And we're simply going to say new textured image brush. And then we're just going to select the animals coloring brush PNG that we exported, select open. Now you can see we have our brush. Come back over here, get rid of this image by simply deleting it. And now we want that turtle to get down to a seaweed. Come over here, select the brush, and simply start drawing. There you can see it drew a black line for some reason. It does that. Undo, add the curve. Click the brush again, and then simply start drawing your path down to the seaweed. You can see that line is not as thick as I thought it was going to be with that brush. But one thing you can do is you can double click this and you can change the brush width. And you can see the brush get bigger there. What you can do here is close this. If you go back to the selection tool, you can select that again, then you can double click it. And then you can change the brush width right there, which changes the sort of thickness of the path as well as the thickness of the line. And of course, if you don't like your line thickness, that and that little trick where I try to use the turtle line to create the brush, if that doesn't work, come over here, grab the rectangle tool, make a rectangle, simply come back to color, change the color to black, and then make this line as thick as you need it or want it. So for example, we'll say about a six point, and then we'll just simply copy and paste that line. And then what we'll do with that is grab the rectangle again, just like we did before. Put the rectangle in there, line it up, get it centered, all that good stuff. And when you have your rectangle and your lines, simply come back, select the color again, change the interior of the rectangle to white. Now again, you see you have your lines on the outside of the rectangle. And as with anything and everything, there's probably other ways, better ways to do this. This is just the way that I figured out how to do it and the way that it's working for me to start playing with this to see if it gives me the result that I want. Of course, we'll export that as a PNG. We'll export that as selection only again. We'll export it. We'll call this brush two. Of course, name it whatever you want to name it so you know what it is. Come back to brushes. Brushes for publisher report. If you want to delete that, you can simply just delete that brush right there. And then what you can do again is come here, new textured image brush select brush number two and now we have a new brush right there so again we can get this out of the way we can select our brush make sure our brush is ready to go and we're ready to start drawing our path right there again the thickness of the lines may not be what you want them at this point the point is that you know how to create the brush and you know how to get started by creating paths and then you can make these edits to your maze as you see fit. Just make sure that when you're making the edits that they make sense. You add extra entry points, ex extra exit points, and you can always undo it as you need. For example, we'll come down here and we'll have that stop there. You can see it created a nice little path or we'll just create another path with a hard turn, a couple loops. And as you can see, get as creative as you want or as you need. That right there, again, 
pretty ugly and to get rid of it all you have to do is select it and hit delete and it's gone and of course you can play with the brush again by selecting brush making sure you have the brush ready to go and simply just adding in all the paths that you want for your maze and that's all you need to do to create the page and then you simply come to export export as a PDF and export it give it a name save it it'll be saved as a PDF you simply just open it up as a PDF and there's your PDF file and your coloring page or your activity or your maze page whatever you want to call this just like in the maze book for kids that you saw here with the bears and the fun first mazes for kids four to eight right here that you saw with the dog house this video was helpful give me a thumbs up type right here in the middle of the screen click the typewriter subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like the video you see here on the screen now click it watch it look forward to seeing that video and i'll talk to you later bye